Hey guys, it is early morning Hamish yet again. I have something to show you. Please just watch this video if you're interested in UI, UX, using different models, etc, etc. Now, this will be on GitHub, so anyone can download this, right? Obviously, I'm not even taking credit for this. I originally got this code from Google AI Studio. But basically, what this is, is it's a new way to do UI, UX design. And I wanted to show you guys what I've been working on the last couple of hours, basically. So <clears throat> the first thing is, I'm just going to show you a hero section for a Shopify and WordPress automation platform called seogrowth.ai, and then I'm just going to send that prompt. Okay, so just kind of for the fun of it, I've also added GLM 4.7 and Open Router generally. I just wanted to kind of see how they were at doing the same task. But that's not actually what this video is about. This video is about this new system that I'm creating. And yes, like I said before, I did take this originally from Google. This is from Amar here. Uh, Amar is a, okay, not working on anything. Okay, Amar Reshi, he is a uh, lead product plus designer at Google AI Studio. And basically what he did was, and I don't even know if they should have released this, to be honest with you, but they released this very, very interesting tool inside Google AI Studio. All you have to do is go and build and then just scroll down here, flash UI, this thing right here. It's an absolute beast. What I've done is I've taken it and I've expanded on it a little bit. So I'm going to show you that now. I'm just going to quickly see how GLM 4.7 actually deals with this task and whether we can put different models in here. That is very, very nice. I have to say I'm impressed by that. So this is kind of my new standard test for new models. Hey guys, just before we continue, quick word from our sponsor, me. This is harborseo.ai, a tool that I made about a year and a half ago, but that I had serious problems for a very, very long time. What I did was I basically took everything that I learned in the last year when it comes to coding and recreated it from scratch and gave everyone higher tokens, higher everything, and I'm slowly but surely making this the best tool in the world when it comes to AI blogging. If you want to check out harborseo.ai, again, if you've ever had an account, you get 50,000 free credits, and I will be adding a free trial very, very soon for people who have never used it. Since launching the new Harbor SEO, I've added new things such as the scout feature, which finds trending topics in your niche, the change log, so you can see everything that I'm up to, the My Archive section has had a huge update as well. And like I said, the limits have been increased from about six articles a month to 25 articles a month. All of that is for $29 and please check out harborseo.ai. Thanks for the attention and back to the video. Okay. Something that I've been working on the last couple of days since I found this um, Google AI Studio project. And it's a pretty interesting test because it's not like, wow, that is really nice. It's not like other tests at all. It's completely different. I would actually say this does a better job than Flash. Okay, so I mean, this is kind of the first thing, but the second thing is I've basically added a button here that says generate entire home page, which takes the exact design that was created before and it kind of expands it into an entire home page, right? So this is going to use GLM 4.7 with streaming with Open Router to create an entire project. Now this project, I'm going to put it on GitHub. I'm not going to charge any money for it. Obviously, this isn't even my project originally. I'm not even sure how this would work in terms of um, am I even allowed to, to take this project. I'm going to take it anyway. If they have a problem, at least I've got it up on GitHub for free and I'm not trying to sell it or anything. Um, but yeah, basically the way that I'm doing this or the reason that I'm doing this is to really start to test the UI UX without relying on kind of bad prompts, right? See it, same kind of concept as before. This is streaming now the full page build, the full home page build, instead of just the kind of card. This is a really, really powerful system, right? So the way this works is you create like an asset, right? And you can prompt whatever you want. It's very good to just do a simple prompt like a card, a minimalist card showing the weather or something like that. You then take that and you basically say, create me an entire homepage for this project. And it creates a beautiful design, as we'll see in just a second. It really will be a beautiful design unless GLM 4.7 is absolute trash. But I don't think it is. I think it's actually pretty decent. So uh, we'll see. And it basically will take that exact design that you've done with the card and it will make an entire homepage. And then once you've got an entire homepage, you can pretty much create an entire website from those two things. Even though they are in HTML, CSS and JavaScript format, doesn't really matter because at the end of the day, AI is smart enough to take what it has here 
and put it into React or Next.js or you know whatever kind of system you want to use. And this is what we get. I think this is possibly the best homepage that I've ever seen, actually. Um, wow. <laughs> this is really, really good. So yeah, basically, you guys can get this for free on GitHub if you want to use it. Um, obviously, this is not that useful because it's just for like a weather thing. But you can see how you can start to get really, really good designs with this methodology. I wanted to just take it a little bit further and instead of focusing on just a single card, instead I wanted to try and make it so people could build entire businesses from scratch, right, using this system. So let's just quickly put it back on Gemini 3 Flash and we'll use the original prompt that we used. So an AI automation system called SEO Grow that automates your um, Shopify and WooCommerce. SEO. I think what I'll do is I'll put GLM for the first bit and then I'll swap back to Flash for the second bit because I actually really, really like GLM's designing ability. So yeah, like I said, I think I'm going to start using this as my test to see how new models actually are. What I think I'm going to do as well is I'm just going to quickly add one more thing to this. Can you put a model selector that uses OpenRouter where the user can just put a model ID? in raw text and it picks it up and injects it into the model selector question mark so yeah basically what that would mean is you would be able to select wow look at that you'd be able to select whatever one you want whichever model you want it always goes with this green probably because it's called seo grove it kind of makes sense this is interesting i don't know which one i would even go for here so let's see what happens if we change model here and then do generate homepage, just because Flash does work a lot better and a lot, a lot faster, basically. Okay, and this is the final result. Autonomously expanding your digital root system. Kind of some weird wording here, but that's all right. Um, neural architecture. Ah, this is really, really nice. You're just not going to get a better. You're not going to get a better system than this, guys. There's, I don't think anything exists that will do better design than this as of today. 247% average traffic increase. It's just boom, boom, boom. Really good CRO, conversion rate optimization. Pricing table, compute tiers, ready to expand, initialize sequence. I absolutely love this, right? Personally, I think this is one of the better examples. It'd be really, really hard for you to get something that's better than this. Now, you basically just click source. Probably should add a code button here, but I haven't yet. And then this code can be used anywhere, right? This is now an entire system for you to use across your website you could say okay now put this in react or next.js and then you could say now do um, a pricing page now do a blog page now do this page that page etc and because you've basically got the entire code the entire design system done there's not going to really be any worries or any problems or anything like that throughout the entire building process in my opinion this is next level and I am actually extremely impressed also by 4.7 um, GLM. I was expecting for GLM 4.7 to be really, really good, especially with design in the upcoming days. 2023, though, that's quite funny. Um, but yeah, I, I think, let's just double, triple check. I oh, know, okay, so it did use GLM 4.7 for the entire build. So there was a little bit of an issue with my, um, with, with, with my selection thing there, but that's okay. Like I said, guys, this is all going to be available on GitHub. So you can just download it, use it for free. Um, obviously I, all I did was just slightly expand on what Anmar did and Mar deserves all the credit here. Um, their kind of prompting system here, it needs to be studied. It's extremely interesting. Um, and its ability to create UI UX is absolutely amazing. Second to none. I'm gonna leave the video there guys. Thank you so much for watching and watching the way to the end of the video. Legend. And I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.